that just because I went to Brandeis, that's in Massachusetts, and just because I have a little bit of a British accent because my parents were educated at Oxford and grew up in Falmouth, that I am basically a man of the earth. Nobody screws with me and gets out alive. Nobody treads on my face, my pinky or my wrist. Nobody walks into this office and gets out alive without kissing my you-know-what. Now, it doesn't have to be a lot. It just has to be show up on time, put down the crack pipe, get off your back, do your job, come in with a check. That's basically all I want. And if I have everything else, I have everything else. And I do have everything else. And that's why I can just say, that man is not going to work in this town again. I don't like doing it. But somebody's going to do it. Somebody's going to straighten him out. And I think I am just the man to do it. I wish him well. I have no hard feelings. He can write a book about it. He can go on Oprah. He can do whatever he chooses. But the fact remains, he's not going to get his money. I'm not going to get my money. And I'm not happy. What is this thing worth? It's worth nothing. I spent four hours on this phone. And now, nothing. Kaput. Zero. Well, such is life. And such is death. And I hope that when he passes on, he'll remember that he had an agent who was actually for him. Who wanted the best for him. And maybe he'll little, learn a little lesson. Maybe he'll look back and say, Twiggly was really A-OK. -okay. Because after Twiggly, I remember what to do. Well, that's about all I have to say. Except, I think in this summer vacation, I may actually try to do King Lear. You know, non-equity, go back to my roots, because I was a thespian. And that's why I know what goes on with these thespians in their minds. And I think having an agent who really knows is worth its weight in gold. Thank you for visiting, and goodbye. Goodbye. I said goodbye. I said, it's over. I said... Get the film crew out of here or I'm calling the cops.